So here I'd like to look at the area of a parallelogram. And a parallelogram is a four-sided shape where the opposite sides are parallel to each other. And parallel means the lines will never cross. So you can imagine these are like railroad tracks. These two sides here will never cross. They run in exactly the same direction. And likewise for the other ones here, these run parallel to each other like railroad tracks and they'll never cross each other. Now the formula for a parallelogram is the exact same thing as for a rectangle. The area is equal to the base times the height. And the reason that is, is if you think about having a rectangle, a parallelogram is kind of like a rectangle that's been pushed at one corner. It leaves its bottom where it was and just kind of goes on a tilt. So it's the same area as the rectangle, it's just been pushed to the side, but it still takes up the same amount of space. And that's why the area formula looks very similar to the rectangle. And the catch here is that we have to make sure that we use the height and the base always perpendicular to each other. So the base and the height always have to be perpendicular, like with the triangles. So here I see these shapes. I know that the 10 meters right here I might call the base because it runs along the bottom of the shape, but my height, it's not the length of this side here, it's actually what's been given to me on that dotted line. Saying from a line equal to my base, running the base all the way out, the top of it is 4 meters higher. So h is going to be 4. So my area here would be 10 times 4, which is equal to 40 meters squared because it's area. And then the next example, it's somewhat similar. Complicated diagram, but it's been shifted on its side. I could imagine if I want the base of it here is a width of 2 millimeters, as given by those dotted lines. So that'll be my base. And my height from corner to corner here is going to be 3 millimeters. So the area of this one would be 3 times 2 equal to 6 millimeters squared. Then, because you can imagine if you want, if I push this rectangle back, if I push that corner back down, the whole thing would slot back down to be a rectangle shape instead, with a dimension of 3 by 2. So that's where your parallelogram area formula comes from again. But be careful, you have to make sure you get the perpendicular height and the base.